Hello everyone and welcome back to another Better Minecraft video. In today's episode, we are going to be planting some crop fields and living out our best farmer fantasy. So feel free to like and subscribe and let's go ahead and jump right in. I started to chop down all of the trees that I planted in last episode, but I still have a few more to plant. And then I transported all of the items that were in the chest over here inside of my house. Here in the kitchen, we have all the food items. And then upstairs, all these chests are filled with just random items and it's semi-organized. The thing about big mod packs is that there are so many different kinds of blocks. So we're definitely going to need a better storage solution than this. But we're gonna have to make this work for now because I definitely don't plan on building a storage building anytime soon. And then we just have random odds and ends here in these little drawers. But I think I want to start off with doing a bit of caving. So I'm going to create our first iron pickaxe. And then I also need something to make some torches. And I think I'm going to put another shelf here and any like tool items that I'm not currently using, maybe I'll put, I don't know, here or something like that. Like I don't need a hoe to go mining. So I'll put that there. We also have to figure out a better food solution in today's episode because we're definitely starting to run out of food. I do have plenty of hay bales, but that's not gonna last forever. All right, I think that we are good to go and I'm going to go ahead and go over in this little case system that we started to look at in last episode. This one right here, and I just wanna look for some basic materials like coal and iron just to get a bit more and possibly get a full set of iron armor in today's episode. Oh my gosh, there's a squirrel down here. Oh, he's stuck, that's so sad. Look, there's a baby spider right there. Oh my gosh, and it moves so fast. And there's a baby creeper. <gasps> oh boy. Ah, they move so fast. Oh, I don't like more babies. Get the babies away from me. Oh, <laughs> baby zombie, goodness. Oh my gosh, what's an iron sword? You're kidding, right? <gasps> Why did he hurt so bad? Is he still following me? Of course he's still following me. Is this when we die? Ah! Run, run. Oh my gosh, baby creeper, run. I'm just running around in circles because I literally don't even know what to do because if I get hit one time, I will die. So why does he have an iron sword that is not even fair? Well, this has literally been the worst experience ever so far. Okay, I took out the baby zombie. I'm kind of just cheesing this at this point because that's where we are at this very moment in the game. Okay, success. I survived that. I hate the more babies mod so much. Who thought that would ever be a good idea? Because it's horrible. I mean, I guess it was just a baby zombie that was honestly giving me the most trouble. But even the spiders and the creepers are honestly the worst. Anyways, let's do some more material gathering, I guess. Before my pickaxe gives out on me, I'm going to go ahead and head back to the surface. This is what I collected so far. I didn't really find anything too interesting, honestly. Just a lot of coal and there's still a bunch of coal that I haven't gotten yet. I was hoping to find more iron or just like an easier way to get really deep down in the mines, but I just couldn't find it, honestly. So we will save more cave exploring for another day. But let's go ahead and head back to the house and hopefully there are no mobs nearby, only that creeper and my fall damage. But it's so nice to have an actual house, you know, and not just sleep outside. It just feels so much more cozy and safe. And it looks like the wheat is almost pretty much ready to harvest. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest what is ready. So in this mod pack, there are seasons. So it is better to plant crops like in spring and summer and things like that. So I would definitely like to make sure that we utilize those seasons and plant things earlier rather than later. So I think that today's episode is a great episode to start working on a little farm or like a garden, you know? We almost have a full set of iron armor 
We will get there soon enough. So I never actually explored this little village down here because my pockets were way too full to even explore it. I'd only open up one chest. So I figured that I would go down here and do a little bit of exploring, see if they have any other crops to offer me. Oh, look, and I think there's another one of those houses that's called The Good Place. That's really cute. And those usually have some pretty decent loot in it. Lots of iron, typically. I think sometimes like lapis and things like that. Ooh, I don't have any sugar cane. I guess I'll go ahead and collect some of that. Oh, and I'll collect this little duck egg. Hello, ducks. Oh, this um looks a little bit wonky. I think something happened to your house there. Um, Quentin? Quentin bag? I guess this is like their watchtower or something like that. And it does have some goodies. Oh, tomato seeds. Perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. And potatoes. This is perfect. <gasps> There's a baby iron golem. It's in the more babies mod. Whoa. So whenever they mean more babies, they literally mean more babies. Wow. That's actually kind of cool. Oh, the duck wants my bread. I was wondering why he was following me around, but he wants bread. Sorry. I kind of need that bread. More tomato seeds, more potatoes, some onions. There's also these little tents too. That's really cute. Except how do I get in the tent? Is this the entrance to the tent? Okay. Uh, villagers, I think there's something wrong with your tent. Let me help. There you go. Silly little villagers. Oh my gosh, there's so much of hay inside of this tent. Another baby iron golem. That is so cool. Whoa. Okay. Wow, this is really cool. Some iron. We can definitely make a full set of iron armor now. This is a cute little tent. Whoa. Oh, okay. We don't really need it right now, but I'm sure we will eventually. Some of those iron helmets, I'll definitely take it. This is a cute little village with all the flowers and... Oh, Iron Golem, hello. And Villager way up there, hello. I just like the tents and like all the greenery. I don't know, it just feels so cool. Another one of these fancy tents with lots of fancy items. Oh my gosh, they run so fast. Condor, Condor the Iron Golem, the baby Iron Golem. There are a lot of villagers and Iron Golems here. It's pretty crazy. I feel like this village will definitely last for a bit. Though, I don't really see any of those one villagers who protect the village you know typically there are some inside of a village but i don't see any here there's lots of baby iron golems i mean they will grow up and they will definitely uh help protect the village so that's cool and over here is one of those evil windmills so i don't think we really want to go over that way yes do you see all of the evil we don't want to go there oh look there's just a random villager over here i definitely want to explore a bit more this way but i don't know if i'll do that <gasps> just yet yeah there's a pillager i think i'll just go back home oh and there's a cat i want to get a pet honestly i think getting a pet would be a lot of fun and i think that there's even like wolf armor and stuff like that in this mod pack which is really cool because we could have a little wolf companion so we pretty much got everything that i wanted to get from that one village there's definitely more crops to get within this mod pack but we do have plenty of variety I'm going to go ahead and make ourselves a full set of iron armor and that will be perfect. Oh, and look, my little sword is by my side too. That's so cool. And then I also want to make an iron hoe because we're going to be using that tool a lot. And now let's figure out kind of where I want to place these fields. I want them to be very open, natural fields, not anything too structured. A field rather than like a planting plot, if that makes sense. Maybe we can kind of start them over here. I feel like this is a pretty good place. I don't want it to be too far away from our house, but this area over here is a little bit too hilly. And then over there it gets into the igloo. So maybe we'll do it over here. I'm going to keep some of the natural height variations for the hills, but then some of it I'm going to flatten out if I think I need to. Maybe what I will do is kind of mark off a boundary of where I want the field to start and stop just so that I can have a clear idea of where I want to plant the field. Probably don't have too much cobblestone to do a lot of sectioning off, but I'm going to make what I have work. And then we'll definitely have to collect some more cobblestone because I think I will use some as walls and things like that. Maybe something kind of like this. I don't think that's a bad shape to start off with. This is definitely going to require a lot of planting. So I guess we better get busy with that. Maybe I will do potatoes first because I love myself a good potato. We 
have the first field tilled, not really planted, but tilled at least. These potatoes are taking so long to grow. So while I'm waiting for these potatoes to finish growing, I'm actually going to go ahead and collect some more cobblestone so that I can create even more fields because I want them to all be surrounded by this kind of stone wall. So let's go down here and start to collect some more cobblestone. I got about four and a half stacks of cobblestone and I'm also smelting down a stack of cobblestone into stone just because I want a bit of variety. I would love to also have mossy cobblestone and tough and things like that, but it's just not in the cards for this very moment. I'm also going to want some bushes around the stone wall and I think that oak leaves will make the perfect bushes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just like replant some of these oak trees so that I can shear their leaves. And is it just me or is the grass greener today? I don't understand understand why but the grass looks so green all right let's go ahead and start mapping out another little area for another field and our potatoes have slowly been growing so i've been slowly planting them as they are finished growing i really like this map feature because i can clearly see like where i want to plan things out which i think is so cool but i think that i want to do maybe another one kind of like here maybe another one back this way this is a very steep hill so i don't think we'll be able to put anything there so maybe we'll start over this way and we'll kind of encompass the cherry tree that's so cute we can have a cherry tree in the middle of our field and also i want to get cherries from this cherry tree but i don't know how so between every field i want to have pathways going through so whenever i map out the second field i'm kind of going to use this one as a guide but i want to leave plenty of space maybe even more space than that for lots of pathways oh look at this lone pumpkin he's just all by himself here we have our second field in and maybe i'll go ahead and map out a third field and then we'll leave just three fields like that for now so maybe we can put another field over this way. So kind of like this. Again, leaving plenty of space for little pathways. And second field in, they've kind of gotten smaller and smaller, but it's fine. I think they still look cute. Once we have them all planted, they will look so good. So maybe we will make this one a carrot field and then maybe this one an onion field. Also, there are so many grapes around here. So all these little grapes here and this is using the Vinery mod pack. So I really want to see what this mod pack has to offer because it seems really, really cool. Like, can we make a little wine or something like that? Make a little vineyard or something? That'd be so cool. So I'm going to go ahead and get to work getting these carrots and onions planted. And now these two fields are at least tilled. I will, of course, continue to spread around the crops once they actually grow because they're taking forever to grow. But we are making really good progress over here in the potato field. So I've been slowly spreading these around and I will, of course, do that with the rest of the crops. I've just been planting them in rows because I think they grow faster that way and it kind of seems to be true. So that's why I've been growing them in rows. And then I will eventually fill it all in once we have enough potatoes to do that. But look, they're just growing so fast. I literally just harvested them all and I already have so many more to harvest. We still have tomato seeds to plant and also a wheat field to plant. And I think there's also cabbage too. So we still have a bit to plant. I think I'm actually going to trade these wheat crops out for tomatoes just because I want a little modded plant here in my front yard. We only have three right now, but it'll be so cute to harvest little tomatoes. But now I would like to actually complete the walls and the pathway of our little fields so i want to get some flowers probably of course lots of stone this probably isn't even enough stone and then i'm going to go ahead and shear some of these oak leaves look at this one tree that is a very bushy looking tree but i will use these leaves for little bushes around the wall and then for the actual pathway, I would like to do maybe a coarse dirt pathway. I think that would look really nice, but I kind of need some gravel in order to do that. And I don't really have too much gravel right now. I'm also going to need some little slabs to 
make little like step ups. So I'm going to go ahead and collect all of the materials for this. Okay, I was wondering if there were dirt slabs because you know it's modern Minecraft. There are indeed some dirt slabs. So I think I might use them. That is so cool. Yeah, I only have 14 pieces of gravel. Okay, I'm going to have to definitely go get some more gravel because I think that coarse dirt is the way to go. Luckily, there is plenty of gravel down here in our little cave system we've been using. I have a little over three stacks of coarse dirt. Hopefully that is enough. And here's our little cave squirrel, of course, exploring around in the caves. Maybe he loves it. Maybe he's not stuck. Maybe he's always wanted to be a cave squirrel before and now he's able to fulfill his dreams. So I kind of don't want to move him. Oh, maybe it's summer. I was wondering about the grass because it is so dang green, but maybe it's summertime. I'm not sure. I think we have to get a calendar in order to find out, but I'm going to make myself some slabs so that I can have very in the size of the wall and not everything is just a full block size. Unfortunately, we don't have anywhere for these paths to actually go to because you don't really have any buildings other than the starter house way over there. And I don't think I'm going to connect the starter house just yet because what if I have buildings in between here then it just ruins the path. I'm just going to wait a little bit, but I'm still going to create little pathways just because I think it's going to look so much better. So let me go ahead and get started on that. And then I will pop back in once it comes time to actually detailing everything, adding all the plants and bushes and things like that. Now that the path is done, I want to go ahead and start detailing the walls a little bit. Something kind of like this. I know it's pretty simple. I just don't really have a lot of blocks to choose from right now. So I definitely don't mind coming back and detailing it a bit more. And also I'm already out of stone. How is that even possible? Collecting resources and early game is so tedious because it takes so long with your little baby stone tools. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook up some more cobblestone. But I mean, honestly, if I want to finish these walls today, I'm gonna have to collect more cobblestone again. Honestly, I guess that's just my fault. I probably should have collected like so much more, but you know, here we are. I'm trying to be a little bit lazy. And then I also want to, I did not mean to do that right there. I also want to kind of like sprinkle. Oh my gosh. I keep on misplacing these bushes. I want to sprinkle some bushes around just because I think it looks a little bit nice. It adds a little bit of oomph to your build, you know? So I want some bushes. And then also I would like to plant some kind of like sweet berry bush or something but since we haven't found sweet berry bushes maybe i'll do like these grapes instead so i can just like plant these grape bushes they don't like provide the most color but i could also plant these red grape bushes too so i think that would look nice and then i of course have to detail the rest of the walls but i'm kind of waiting on my cobblestone to cook up i guess while i'm waiting on my cobblestone to cook up i could probably be collecting more cobblestone okay let's do this I'm also going to go ahead and spread out the crops a little bit because they are definitely making lots of progress. And it appears like crops are going to grow slower and slower as the seasons progress. So I really don't want to get stuck in like winter and have zero food. So we kind of have to get on this, especially if it's summer already. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just like late spring or something. I kind of need to check that out. Whoa, that's a lot of potatoes and I fully harvested and replanted the potato field. We are set on potatoes for a very, very long time, which is awesome. All right, now we can start to detail this fence a little bit more. So I did mention that I really, really wanted to take this Let's Play nice and slow and really experience everything that I had to offer. So I think that maybe in next episode, I wanna check out that Vinery mod that looks really, really cool. And it looks like we can make some kind of like vineyard or something like that. I kind of want to do a little bit more research about that mod pack and see what it has to offer. I think 
think that'd be so cool. So if you all know anything about the Vinery mod pack, then let me know because I'm really, really interested in it. Oh, and look at the cute little tomato plants. Okay, and then we can just right click them and then can we maybe turn them into seeds? Yes. Oh, that is so fun. It's like the perfect front yard garden right there. I love that. This wall is finished and now I just have one more wall to complete. And of course I need to go through and kind of texture it and make it look more fun with lots of greenery. But last but not least, we have this last wall to finish. And there we go. We have the last wall complete. And I love how these are turning into mossy cobblestone because there's water underneath it. I think that's actually really cool. I wonder if it will spread I kind of hope it does. Oh, I think it will spread. That's really cool because I did want some mossy cobblestone. I wonder if it's all going to turn mossy eventually. Hmm. And now just a little bit of bush action just to make it look more alive and full. And now I'm just doing some finishing touches around the wall, just adding some of these little grape seeds. And I think that our little garden is really coming together. I love walking through these little pathways. I think they feel so cool. I definitely will be coming back and adding more fields. Of course, we have a wheat field to add, a tomato field to add, a cabbage field, and then maybe we can start to add some vineyards around. So I'm really happy. I think our world is starting to come together now. We definitely need another build in and not just land because this is our only build right now. So we need to start connecting some of these things but it looks so cool i love walking through here i think that's so fun we definitely will be adding a windmill at some point i was thinking maybe like little tool sheds and stuff around too because i feel like you definitely see those on farms maybe little storage sheds sheds that we can store some tools and some seeds and just extra farming equipment and things like that. So I hope that you all are excited for all of that. I'm going to go to sleep as the sun is setting, but I think that will about do it for today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. I'm so excited to continue this little better Minecraft journey. I'm honestly having so much fun in it. So I hope that you all have a lovely, lovely day and thank you so much for watching. Bye.